All right, so I want to give people that don't have a MIDI controller um, a little bit of control or at least a little bit more control in drum racks. Some of you have these drum rack presets, but you can't necessarily play them live or you can't play the samples that you want to play live because when you hit those keys, either nothing plays or it's not the sound that you want to use. Um, as opposed to impulse, where everything's kind of laid out, you know, yes, you've only got eight keys to work with, but each of those are an important uh, aspect of your drum kit. So, if you want to use the samples from your drum racks, first off, know that you're going to be limited to the amount that you're going to be able to play live. But if you want to uh, relocate where certain drums are so that when you hit your keys, you're hitting a kick drum or a snare or, or a hi-hat or whatever. This is a the simple way to approach it. So I've got this uh, 808 preset here with a bunch of samples and if I hit my A key oh, that's what I would normally expect to be the location for the kick drum but instead I've got a different sound altogether. So what you want to notice here is when I hit that key, this little yellow square lights up. So that shows the location of where I'm hitting. So then I just go through the sound that I actually w would like to be there when I hit the A key, like it's probably this kick drum. Okay. Then what I'm going to simply do is click and drag this kick drum and then play the A key so I see where I want to put it. I'm going to drag it over here. Now it switches. Now I'm going to play and now up in the top right corner I see that that's where I want to put my kick drum. Drop it in there and now perfect. So now I've got my kick drum on A. So now I'll go to the S key and uh, drop a snare. And then I'll just drag this over. And that's where I want the snare to be right here. And now I can play kick and snare real easily. From my keyboard. So that's kind of how you can manipulate your presets so that you can use them with with your regular keys if you don't have a, a MIDI controller. So I hope that little tip helps.